This is Jane Bradbury, Cataloging and Database Senior Specialist at the Resource Sharing Alliance with a tip for tidy cataloging. My tip is to request a cleanup report or reports. The top three suggestions I have for reports are the invalid item ID report, the questionable item types report, and the problematic call numbers report. Usually with an invalid ID report, the problem is with the IDs is that they're too short, too long, maybe somebody put a blank in them, or they don't start with an A. You can see in this example that all of the item IDs start with D instead of A. So I'm guessing that someone used uh, barcodes that were meant for patrons. To correct an invalid ID, you simply pull the item from the shelf, uh, you go to the call number and item maintenance wizard, you're going to search for that item with the bad ID, and you're going to correct the ID and save. The second report was the questionable item types report. Uh, usually the problem here is that there's a discrepancy between the 330 347 or the 538 fields and the item type. There are two reasons for this. Either the item is on the wrong record or the item type was incorrectly uh, selected. You can see, here's an example. Um, you can see where if you look in uh, columns C and D, there's a VHS format for these items, but three of the items have book, and one of them has DVD, which you don't want to loan out a VHS tape um, and have somebody find out that um, it's a DVD or vice versa. To correct a questionable item type, you again pull the item from the shelf, you go to the call number and item maintenance wizard, you search for that item with the questionable item type, and then you compare that physical item to the item type and to the record. So you're going to decipher, is it the item type that was a mistake, or is the record an incorrect record? If it's an incorrect item type, of course, you just need to use the drop down, correct it, and save. If the item appears to be on the wrong record, you're going to need to submit an RSA cataloging request and send that item to Rails East Peoria RSA cataloging. What you do not want to do is you do not want to delete the item or recatalog the item because your item circ and inventory history will be lost. The third report was the problematic call numbers report. And usually this is a call number that starts with XX. And that simply means that either somebody, when they entered the call number, they didn't delete the XX or they, the actual call number was never added. Here is an example. You can tell from line two, if you look across, that looks like somebody didn't remove the XX before they put the call number in. And then you can also see further down like seven, eight, nine, these are all call numbers that it looks like they just omitted adding them. To correct a call number, pull the item, make sure that there's a call number label on the spine, go to the call number and item maintenance wizard, and you search for the item with the bad call number and you correct it and save. If you want any one of these reports, um, we ask that you use the report request form on the RSA website, and we ask that you be specific about what report you want. The invalid item ID report, the questionable item types report, or the problematic call number, which is actually officially known as the XX call number finder. The last report, the problematic call number finder, is available on a subscription. So if you want that report and you want to subscribe to it, be sure and let us know, but also be sure to relay what uh, frequency. So do you want it weekly, monthly, etc. The report request form is on the main page of the RSA support site.
You can see it's over on the right hand uh, column. Please contact the RSA Help Desk with any questions about the video's topic or to suggest topics for future videos. You can call us at 866-94-4083 or email us at rsahelp at railslibrary.info. Thank you.